Hi everyone, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. I hope you are well. I'm not too bad, and I wanted to update you on the latest in regards to Enter projects for um, the NFT art finance token as well. So let's have a quick look at the price at the moment. As I explained in previous videos, the past week has, has, has been a bit of a uh, revelation because the token has been slowly descending, very dormant since back end of June. And now we're mid-October now, and there's been quite a huge spike and, and differential, particularly not as large as it was at the beginning when it was launched. Um, and that really does feel like a slight change. But when you kind of drill down into the last three months, you can start to see the change really take effect now, which is great to see. If we have a look at the last month, that's even more of an impact, which is good news. And the last seven days is where it's the most dramatic. So there's been a few dips here, here and there, but quick recovery, which is really good to see as well. And uh, it's looking fairly stabilized at the moment. I hope it doesn't decrease at this point. I want things to keep pumping as we all do. So we will see how we get on over the coming weeks. And part of the reasons to why this uh, coin has been impacted so greatly is because um, the CEO Leaky had step, stepped down. And Simon, who was one of the co-founders, has actually uh, come on board as, as CEO for the time being. And there has been a lot of changes recently, a load of restructuring, which I've gone through in the previous videos. But there has been a new update as of um, last night. So I wanted to uh, give you the latest update. So they're starting a new announcement cycle. And what they've decided to do was include a short term, which is one to two months a mid-term three to six and a long-term which is over six months. But what they're also going to include is what's called a super short-term, which is quite cool. And uh, just to kind of give you the latest news on, on the um, improvements happening in, in the short-term, the, the most short-term. So community, let's start with that. So the last week we've seen unified efforts of the community taking part and spreading the word about the Enter. During this time the page view count on Enter and NFT art web pages saw a whopping 350% increase. Our token was on the top gainers list of the coin market cap that I've just shown you and large movers on CoinGecko. So the result of that over the course of the weekend is that they got a hundred applications almost from artists all over the world wanting to join Enter. So that's good news. In addition to this, it's a pleasure to announce that we've reached 10,000 collectors on Enter now. So it's, it's a big marketplace. It's currently the biggest marketplace on the Binance smart chain. And the CEO said a big thank you for everyone for their efforts. In the super short term, so be on the lookout for marketing on social media and uh, the internet starting this week, so I'm looking forward to seeing those. And also governance, which is something I haven't discussed for a long time on this project. It's been on the roadmap, and but it was sacrificed uh, or put on hold so that they could focus on other efforts. So they're proud to introduce their first ever governance vote, and it's a big one with lots of significance for Enter's future growth. So governance is going to happen on this website, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. Right now we're using snapshot.org like Sushi, Unishop, Aave and PancakeSwap and others are using it. But in the future it'll be integrating governance, staking and more into the fabric of Enter. Our first governance proposal, if passed, is something we will implement in the short term. So let's have a quick look at that now. So this is Snapshot and you're able to join on here and you're able to put on those appropriate proposals. So the first one is should we introduce additional currencies? So this is quite an important one. So this proposal expectation is to produce an implementation proposing to add two new currencies to the Enter ecosystem which is BNB and a stable coin. Okay I think that uh, sounds quite good. I'm not going to go into the details of that but by all means you can uh, click on or type in vote.enter.art and then you'll see that. And the second one is which stablecoin should we use in the Enterverse? So if vote one passes, which stablecoin should we use in the Enterverse? So there can be BUSD, USDT, USDC, and you are able to vote there. So nice to see that there's uh, some functionality going on with this stuff. You can see the current results, nearly 98% won't be USD. And if we have a look at the previous results for the first governance, 
yes is 99.96%. So I thought that was a clear shot of winning anyway. So, so that's good. So good to see that they're taking governance seriously and that fans and holders are able to make a difference, you know. So let's have a look at the short term now. Our first governance proposal has the main goal of making the ecosystem of Enter attractive to a wider range of artists and collectors, increasing buying pressure and reducing volatility of the token, as well as speeding up the longer rated payment gateway. The volatility of the token is something that I've expressed on this channel, and you put out a single for a dollar, and all of a sudden it becomes three dollars, three and a half dollars, or it could become a lot less, you know, it's very volatile and that obviously affects all of the pricing on all of the NFTs on Enter, whether that's Enter.audio, Enter.art or the future ones. So we'll wait and see. So why are we proposing this? It's no secret that buying NFT art can be a difficult to understand process because you have to go on PancakeSwap, you have to understand tutorials. We've put up links, tutorials and helped a lot of people on Enter.help. It for sure makes it harder than it has to be for some people to take part in our platform and it's good that they recognise that. Also we're taking to, talking to brands and names uh, with larger fan bases that will bring more volume to enter platforms and the concern over price volatility if they need to cash out a large amount of tokens might keep them from using enter for their drops. It would also risk negatively impacting the token price for holders. Ah yes it would do. It's all relative. So yeah, it kind of makes sense that they're looking at stable coins. Lastly, it turns out developing a fiat payment gateway for our token was a longer process than expected for our payment partner. While launching one for a major coin is more out of the box, letting people buy more art with more payment methods will speed up the adoption of enter NF NFTs in general. We will still work to get an NFT art payment gateway as soon as possible. I really want that to happen. Um, how will this affect the token? In our proposal, we're suggesting taxing BNB and stablecoin transactions with a 14% fee. Wow. Where 10% goes back to buying back NFT tokens, pairing it with BNB and adding it to the liquidity pool. So quite a lot of stuff happening there, which kind of makes sense for the fee, I guess. This will ensure that every sale on Enter platform leads to a net purchase by pressure and increased liquidity. Compare this with the sale for NFT art tokens, where whenever an artist cashes out on a sale, it leads to sale, sell pressure on the token, almost equal to buy pressure applied by new buyers. The remaining 4% will go to transparent treasury use to fund Enter initiatives and long-term development of the company. This is a massive change, but I can understand why they're doing it. They want to stable the token as much as possible. This means that while NFT art sales will lead to highly, slightly higher burn and redistribution, BNB and stablecoin sales will still burn and redistribute tokens and attract higher value sales, add a net buy pressure on every sale and decrease volatility by adding permanent liquidity for NFT art. Sales will stay competitive as they'll always be exempt of any transaction fee. Ah, okay. We will keep adding use cases in the future to grow the utility of the token on all enter platforms such as staking, governance, loot boxes, I haven't heard that before, that's good, so that's drops, and much more. If past the timeline for this feature is short term, as in about a month. Okay, wow, what a lot of changes. It's, I mean, I know all of this stuff was coming, um, you just don't expect it to all be reported on all at once. So it's good that that's being done. I think that's a huge positive. So let's have a look now at the midterm. Payment gateway. We're hoping this is short term, but midterm guaranteed as it needs to be ready for our main midterm project, Enter.x. Yeah, so Enter.x. We're finalizing talks with the first Enter.x candidate, hopefully this week. So Enter.x is a program where artists with a large following can get their own branded drop sites where they can invite all of their fans to buy their NFTs as part of branded experience. While the development takes a bit of time, once we've got Enter.x up and running, we'll be able to launch dozens or even more of these sites every year. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Once you've launched it once and understand all of the functionality that's needed, what's customizable, then it's easier to replicate. This will also end up benefiting the whole Enter community, including artists and collectors, since the default secondary marketplaces for Enter.x platforms will be Enter.art, Enter.audio and future Enters. Wow, so they're all interlinked in that respect. That's good. This will introduce new fans, users and community members to the entire Enterverse. Thank you to everyone for your continued support. Please go vote in the first historical Enter governance vote and feel free to tell us what you think about these updates. 
They're meant as a way to tell you what we're working on and get your feedback in the process. So there you go. Excellent stuff. So there you have it. Massive update there. Lots about the token, lots about the stablecoin, lots about governance in terms of voting, and more about Enter.x, which is great to see. Also, I just wanted to have a quick mention of my Discord channel again. So I'll put a link in the description. I've been rejigging this slightly. There's more channels coming on board, which is good. What I've decided to do is have a huge information section uh, because originally these were all combined. Then to have my YouTube channel. Um, so feel free to join and, and have a chat about it on there. If you want to, if you've got any questions, please reach out to me, either in the comment section or on the Discord. I'm trying to build up a community on the Discord, so you know I appreciate any joiners. Also, my synth pop, synth wave music channel as well. And then alongside that, various NFTs that I've been working on. Um, there's quite a few on here to, to report on. So I'm using different platforms. So I've been using Foundation recently, but also OpenSea on the Polygon chain, which is gas-free. And I will have more on the way as well. And then all of the art that I've been doing. So I did this uh, foundation.app teletext thing, which is an anim animation with my music in the background. So if I click on the link, then you're able to see that. So this is the uh, the next NFT that I've decided to do. So there you have it. So I've got the colors changing on here as animation and then a bit of uh, distortion there as well. So there you go. So yeah, I'm reporting on my art NFTs and my music NFTs. Also any long-term projects that I've been working on, which is Hex. So this is one that I did on OpenSea and it's uh, quite in depth. It's, uh, you know, it's quite a lot. I've currently got 313 items on there with six owners. Very, very low floor price. There are some bargains to be had there. So all of these are complete one of one NFTs. So that's I've been reporting on. Then I've got the general chat where you can suggest things. You can just have a good chat about various things. It's Halloween soon. And uh, all about NFT chat, all about NFT ideas and other stuff as well. So there you go. And what I'm hoping to do on this channel is do a few interviews in terms of music NFT artists or music NFT platforms. So if you've got any ideas, please let me know in the Discord channel. You can direct message me on there if you like, or you can just put it in the uh, NFT uh, chat section. That'd be great. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this video and I will catch up on the next one. Take care. Thanks. Bye.